Durango TV News brings you healthy living in the four corners, featuring experts on wellness, nutrition, and lifestyle to keep you healthy and fit to enjoy all the region has to offer. Brought to you by San Juan Regional Medical Center in Farmington. You're watching Healthy Living in the Four Corners. I'm Deborah Uroda. Our hands are a marvel of evolution. We can pick stuff up, write, build, create, all without thinking about what our hands are doing. We're so reliant on our hands that when we jam a finger or damage a joint, we tend to ignore the pain and keep using our hands anyway. But that's the wrong thing to do. That's according to the occupational therapist at the San Juan Regional Medical Center's Adult Rehabilitation Outpatient Center. We asked them why you should seek treatment when you injure your hand, and we wanted to pick up some tips about keeping your hands in shape to maintain your independence as you age. A lot of times you can damage your hand, wrist, elbow um, pretty badly, and the symptoms are very minimal for a long period of time. You could have these basic aches for several months that you think is going to go away and in reality they're getting worse and worse and worse until eventually you hit a point in your life or it has turned into an irreversible problem. Doing this, doing this, this, and stuff like this all take coordinated movements of the muscles inside the hand. They're called intrinsic hand muscles. To strengthen those muscles we have very specific exercises we like to use putty with. I'm bending my last two joints and I'm straightening my big knuckles. If you can do that without bending your big knuckles, then your intrinsic muscles are pretty loose. Squeeze your fingers together, mm -hmm. open them up, squeeze them together, open them up, squeeze them together. While physical therapists treat the cause of an impairment by aligning bones, joints, and muscles to reduce pain, occupational therapists show you how to adapt your skills to complete everyday tasks. While many of the functions of the two professions overlap, occupational therapists help patients recover their independence. As Fusco demonstrated earlier, that can involve strengthening and mobility exercises, or it can involve learning how to use tools to maintain your independence and prevent further damage. By using little bits of adaptive equipment, you can put less strain on each of those little tiny joints and move them to bigger joints so that it doesn't cause as much damage. Some of the ways to protect your joints are to not use such small pinching maneuvers. And so if you just even add a slight zipper pull. Another way that you can protect your joints is by using bigger handles and especially on everyday activities things like silverware. Utilize places and motions where you don't have to do rocking motions on your wrist. And so knives that are in this L shape where you can chop up and down, you're actually using your elbow instead of all of the joints in your fingers and in your wrist. So the next time you smash your finger in the car door, get it checked out by a medical professional to make sure your hands stay in shape for a healthy and independent life. I'm Deborah Uroda for Healthy Living in the Four Corners. This edition of Healthy Living in the Four Corners has been brought to you by San Juan Regional Medical Center in Farmington.